good, yeah. Uh, I know you wanted to tell us something about uh, <laughs> <laughs> something you saw over the weekend. Yeah, something yeah. quite interesting, right? That's literally make, been making the rounds. Two situations, actually. But okay. then again, they all have to do with business. So, okay, so of course, we're not new to the whole idea of Nigerians relocating yeah. UK to Canada and all of that. So what, um, a lady literally sent um, her story, her experience, actually. So she's something she's actually going through right now to... Um, I think a group, a platform she belongs to and all of that, just sharing experiences just so other people can be aware as well. So in her story from Nigeria, she literally ran like two businesses mm -hmm. here, a food business and uh, uh, another um, business, right? So she goes over there after relocating, she, she starts doing that again, starts selling her products from her home, literally reaching out to different people. So I think one was skincare and the other one was food and all of that. And then without following any um, due diligence and all of that, one day, two years after, she literally just literally receives, um, hears a knock on the door, opens the door, and she realizes that, I mean, statesmen were literally there at her house. Mm -hmm. Why? She was literally being, I won't say accused, apparently someone that probably um, bought her products, she um, raised an alarm and reported her that the products she damaged her skin or something like that and all she of that. She reacted to it. She reacted negatively to it and all. And then, um, the, the, they literally charged, let me just open the post and literally just um, go through uh, what's one of the things that she was. So now these were her offenses or oh, allegations put against her, running an unregistered business without government approval, mm. which they claimed I did not register my business because she I She said they claimed. Tax, mm -hmm. which they said is a serious offense as this is under tax fraud. Two, selling unregistered illegal products that pose danger to human consumption, which is not allowed in Canada, running such business without license or permit, and also running it in an unapproved environment, which isn't fit for such business. As investigation shows that the environment where I produce my products isn't clean, and like that, like that. So presently now, she's actually facing jail term mm -hmm. and um, a fine as well. So she was literally just putting it out there to actually just um, advice Nigerians going over there because I know people will relocate to one. They also try to look up, um, look at ways to, um, I mean, make a living, right? And then she's just saying, okay, fine. Before you actually do that and set up anything, make sure you go through your due diligence. It's not like Nigeria that you can just wake up one day and just start a business and then nobody is literally coming after you and so, things like that. Yeah. The reality is, these same processes are actually mandatory in Nigeria. Of course. The only difference is in Nigeria. You can sell to family and friends for a start mm -hmm. and get away with it. And then when you're expanding gradually, you know, getting money to pay for a uh, NAVDAP registration and other things, then, of course, you're able to expand your business. Yes. Over there, though, if you sell to a friend, you know, I said family and friends, <laughs> and something goes wrong with that friend, the friend can report you. Note my use of friend. Can report you that your business is, you know, is um, fake, so to speak. Yes. And then, of course, you could get into serious trouble. Mm -hmm. I detest the fact that so many people say, oh, all of this, you can get away with it in Nigeria. If you are caught in Nigeria, is that you will pay fully, like going to jail or even paying a fine, or, uh, well, man knows man in Nigeria is prevalent. So maybe mm -hmm. that's why you may escape certain things. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just going to say this uh, for those who believe that, oh, you can get away with anything in Nigeria. You cannot get away with anything in Nigeria, especially in Lagos. Mm. You might think you're getting away with it. It's simply a case of one person reporting you, especially to the environmental agency. That's all. Yeah. You might say, oh, I could sort it. What if you meet a very strict officer, amen? Huh? And then, of course, you have to face the music. What will you do then? This kind of people, obviously, have been doing it in Nigeria, getting away with it. Someone mentioned the fact that what if she doesn't even have a NAVDAC number mm -hmm. in Nigeria for a Nigerian product? Mm -hmm. that's, that's already enough. Mm -hmm. That's already enough to let you know that the person was probably even, you know, going through back doors to yeah. get her business done here in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's a case of a day of reckoning because you are, according to the stuff, she was doing it in a... In our house, right? Yes, in our house. The production, everything. everything. And then I like the way she kept saying, they said the place yeah, was yeah. not clean enough. Yeah. They said the food stand... How can you do a food product and skincare mm -hmm. in the same space? Uh, it's so... I uh, got the safe personal. If she, she started with skincare here, yeah? Yes. And then um, Got that food. to food packaging. 
the fact of the situation is that, Omo, you will do it here and you get away with it a thousand times. Mm. I have seen people who are mixing that. The other day, we've, there's a time when yogurt, mm -hmm. uh, this milk, mm. say milk. that you put, <laughs> and instead of it to put inside tea and drink, uh. we have seen concoctions over and Oh, and milky fat. donuts? No milky donuts. You know, they put milk inside all this stuff and mix and the, the, as in everybody is now, you, you, we see it on Instagram everywhere. It's not like they're even hiding to do it. Mm. I'm talking about skincare now. Oh, okay. The the skincare, okay, okay. Where they mix up all these things that look like, they even look so terrible, like, mm -hmm. almost like excreta, mm -hmm. terrible stuff that they mix. And then you see someone telling you that if you want to, your body to shine like yes. milk, not take, milk. There are even some ingestions you will take. You will Just take that, some and pills. Then they mix up all the, we see people, they'll come out with their bowls and all of that. Oh, when you do this thing and all of that, the, the point that you get away with it. That's what made VDM popular you, now. Okay, well, oh. yes, yes, true. Yeah. True that, true that. Yeah, somebody, but well, you see, that's the point. He, he uh, Somebody has to maybe take a proactive stand mm -hmm. before something like that happens here. On a normal day, the point is, who is even patronizing you? Mm. First of all, everybody would want to, you know, over there, mm -hmm. I'm even surprised that she even did it as fast two years. She tried. Yeah. She tried though. I don't, I don't know, know how, how she take that. When she, I saw yes. the two years, I was but she amazed. Tried, yes, I was amazed that it went <laughs> that far. Because like you said, people that know you, they know that this thing is harmful mm -hmm. to people and you don't have proper certification or authorization to mm -hmm. engage in a particular kind of business, mm -hmm. shut you down. Mm -hmm. You're going to, you know, you're, you're not just even shutting you down, you're going to be held liable for whatever might could have happened. Not what happened. Mm -hmm. What could have happened. Mm -hmm. You are in an you're going to an environment that works. Canada. Yes, mm -hmm. they're looking for people. They've been putting out this thing. A lot of Nigerians are immigrating there and all of that. Well, you see, they say when in Rome behave like Roma, they say even Nigerians are stubborn here. When they go outside, they then go and pass red, go and, go and break uh, or or or, 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 or pa pa pass red red light. Mm. You find out that when you enter an environment, someone says if you make your house clean. Mm. Right? And you have a visitor mm -hmm. that's dirty. Mm -hmm. If you come in and see the house clean, they would nobody tell them themselves. to drop there. Yes. I don't see to Ogumeni put your shoe by the door. Don't you say your yeah, shoe. Don't put your don't come inside with that shoe. Mm -hmm. you, know you don't even need to be told. Exactly, you but you see how it is. That's yeah. the thing with environment. When you go to a place, an environment that works, you have to conform. Mm -hmm. And for her not conforming for even two years, seven, and I, as you said, there was something she said that they, 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 she was trying to put it on them and all of that. Very wrong, man. And like you they, said. It should be the same case here because mm -hmm. you're expected to register mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. But like the same thing, NAFTAC mm -hmm. had to put out, I think, uh, was, yeah, was it, is it, is it NAFTAC? About bread? About bread, yes. Yes, yeah. so I was actually yeah. going to talk so about NAFTAC that. NAFTAC is crying out about bread. They're talking about they how the bread out. in the market is not out. safe for consumption. But yes, the but they are bakeries and well, we know they are bakeries. Mm. Should they be telling bread. us exactly. or they should be doing the what work on the ground? Is exactly, so it's not about the people, to be very honest. You go out. There is that. You, who bought it? Where do you buy this one? Where do you buy it? It's very easy to trace. Mm -hmm. And you shut down those bakeries. So why are you telling us that there's enough? There's a what Even now, now sorry, right? Sorry. For instance, now we're talking about her skincare products and then also talking about her food business, right? Even here, there are a lot of people that sell food to the general public. Mm. That you cannot even, even passing by the canteen, you're wondering how food is being produced here. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. And whether we like it or not, some of these officials go there to eat. Yeah. So you the know, truth is that, yeah, as much, so, so her cry, why it seemed like she was trying to put them, like saying, okay, they said this, they said that, right? Like that one is trying, too much. Exactly, I see. The thing, so her, the issue there was the fact that she was saying that she really did not know. But they told her ignorance is not the an, law, excuse yeah. an excuse in the law, right? And that is, literally, whether it's there or it's here, it is what it is. Just that there, they are effective mm -hmm. with, uh, with, um, with execution. Yes. But here, we literally just have laws that even the people that are even meant to execute the laws are not even aware of the laws. So what? No, let, so that, not, that, that is that, that's literally what. Let's the issue not get is. it twisted, though. Like so as I said before, this friends and family mm -hmm. thing, yeah. it's actually applicable everywhere. As, as a matter of fact, whether in Nigeria or wherever you may be, if you have a product, you can sell to your friends and family. But the moment you want to get commercial with it, like you want to put it up on shelves, you want it to go public, then you need to get certain registrations done. Of course. You cannot put your stuff on a shelf in a supermarket and you are not NAVDAC certified, or you go outside publicizing it to strangers, mm -hmm. and you're not certified. It's, it's against the law. It is. Mm -hmm. That's right, why children sell lemonade. You know, you can sell it to friends and family, yeah, but the moment you want to package it and commercialize it, then you okay. need to what pay the thoughts? price. Let us know in the comment section what are your thoughts about all of this. Uh, use the hashtag Wake Up Nigerian TVC. We'll see you after this time out.